Former award-winning CBS News reporter Lara Logan, remember that part of her, she's been let go by yet another news outlet after being let go by Fox News, if you guys remember that Fox uh, Digital Media, I think, as a matter of fact there. She stepped into it yet again, this with Newsmax, who's had enough of her antics. Um, she went on Eric Bowling's show, which is called The Balance, and she has more curious, but pretty familiar words to say about those evil immigrants and how they're taking over the country and replacing us good, real patriots. Listen to what she had to say. I, you know, I, I spoke to a man who was actually holding the documents in his hand. He told me about it, right? He said he was, uh, he infiltrated the global uh, cabal at the UN level, right? And the plan was to infiltrate 100 million illegal immigrants. And at that point, they were already at 40 million. And these people would dilute what they called the pool of patriots. Those were their words, right? And they would not be taught that America is a great country and trained to sing the national anthem with pride and so on and so on. They would be taught all the negative things that we're taught about the US today that our own children are taught. And, and what would be the effect of diluting the pool of patriots? Well, it would be to break down this sense of pride in being American and what it means to be American. Very important uh, words there because they're looking to break down and dilute the pool of real patriots that are supposed to apparently just love America and not even think about any ways to actually improve it. That's her thought process. As I said, she was on Eric Bowling's show. So he asked her, of course, the most common follow-up question, what everyone was thinking, what does God think about the southern border? What? Is God okay with a closed border? It's much bigger than that. God believes in that in, in sovereignty and national identity and the sanctity of family and all the things that we've lived with from the beginning of time. And he knows that the open border is Satan's way of taking control of the world through all of these uh, people who are his stooges and his, and his uh, servants. And they may think that they're going to become gods. That's what they tell us, Yuval Noah Harari and, and all the rest of them at the World Economic Forum. You know, the ones who want us eating insects, cockroaches and that while they dine. Uh, on the blood yeah. of children, yeah. those are the people, right? They're not yeah. going to win. We They're not going. There's so, so much there. First off, Satan is controlling the southern border. It was written in the Bible that the United States southern border with Mexico is a big, big situation that God and Jesus and the Holy Ghost all care about. And Satan is the one that's allowing these dirty, nasty immigrants to come into our country. And we're just allowing it to happen because of Satanism. But also because those folks that are pushing us are drinking the blood again, as Jake was mentioning before. That wasn't all that she had to say though. After framing the issue of immigration in an apocalyptic biblical terms, Logan Shore seemed to accuse so-called globalists of blood libel, which is a long-standing anti-Semitic canard used to persecute Jewish people. Recently, the myth has become a pillar of the crazed QAnon conspiracy theory, which claims a satanic cabal of pedophiles that drink the blood of children is secretly running the world. Meanwhile, these people are coming in freeloading so you divide the population, then you conquer them, is what Bowling exclaimed, invoking that theory. Then you get them to agree, get your side to agree, to give these people voting rights, to give these people voting rights. Then you never ever see a conservative holding office again. Crazy how this works, but before you guys open this up to you guys, uh, this is what Newsmax said since they're uh, severing ties with her for saying the things that are always said on networks like Newsmax. Newsmax condemns in the strongest terms the reprehensible statements made by Lara Logan and her views do not reflect our network. That's what the network said in a statement. We have no plans to interview her again. Good job, Lara. What are you thinking there, man? Yeah, this is, this is wild. I'm gonna put down my cup of child blood and make my comments here. <laughs> People believe this, it's unbelievable. I mean, you see again how quickly these things go from fringe people on platforms that are alt, social media knockoff platforms straight to bigger platforms, straight to televised platforms. Not that Newsmax is particularly legitimate, but at least now it's on television. Former CBS reporters saying it, still with a kind of a crazed look in their eyes. Whenever somebody gets cuified, they get that kind of gazing into an abandoned carnival look, kind of like, yes, that's, that's the cabal. I always use the word cabal, they love that very much, but it's just so, how far do you have to fall in your life when you appear on the unhinged news network of them all, on Newsmax, and Newsmax kind of rushes you off the air and puts out a statement saying, listen, we here at Newsmax respect not the truth, but not super crazies, and you're now putting time out even from us. You gotta do some soul searching at that point.
Maybe they're rebranding in Newsmax. No. <laughs> they gave no. me a call, they're like, you wanna host a show? <laughs> <laughs> okay. The witch list. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, Newsmax is like, no, no, we're super crazy. We're just not quite that crazy, okay? So where did she cr cross the line for them? She crossed the line for me at high, okay? like. Everything she said was mental. Eating. How high she was, you mean? Yeah, maybe. I mean, I <laughs> wish that it was as simple an explanation as she was high, right? I'm afraid it's not for her. So, I mean, what part of that made any sense to you guys? Eating insects? They were, oh, the UN is trying to get us to eat insects. Hmm. Are they? I've never seen that. Like, I, I eat all the time. I've never seen a proposal to eat insects or cockroaches. <laughs> Are you, I mean, like, totally mental. Every part of it is mental, but would have been perfectly fine on Newsmax. No, she crossed the line at blood libel, right? Where and and so that's super dangerous stuff. That's the one of the oldest anti-Semitic tropes, and that's what the fascists say right before they start killing Jewish people. Okay, and so that is that's where we are now. And I guarantee you, right now, there's a giant contingent of people going, "Oh, Newsmax sold out." <laughs> Lara Logan said the truth, and then they <laughs> had to take her off the air because they don't want anybody to find out, man. People drink the blood, okay? And guys, look, we never addressed the core cancer here, the fundamentalist religion, not all religion, but fundamentalist religion. That's where they got it from, you know? And I interviewed a QAnon guy on the conversation, and he said, what do you mean? We drink the blood of Christ every Sunday, and they drink the blood of, uh, of children because they're satanic. They believe in cuckoo stuff like that. I mean, look, Eric Bowen's still on there. And he's the one that asked the insane question of what does God think about the open border? <laughs> God's like in the like in the heavens, right? And he's taking care of like 80,000, not 80, 000, eight trillions of galaxies, right? It's and almost unfair <laughs> to Laura Logan to set her up with a question that's already so insane and then be like, whoa, whoa, you answered it? <laughs> yeah. That was a trap, Laura. And God's like, oh, wait, hold on, Andromeda Galaxy. What do we think about the open border? <laughs> it's not even open. It's the same laws as under Trump. It's what is no such thing as an open border, let alone God worrying about the open border, let alone Satan bringing insects for us to eat through the open border. This, you're all lunatics. If you believe any of it, you are a genuine lunatic. Through all the craziest though, because we're talking about how she's talking about cockroaches and they're gonna set this up. I saw the papers and all that. When there's actual food shortages because of things like climate change and, and any of the policies that go across the world and country here, they're gonna say, you see, Laura Logan told you guys, the UN had this plan in place to make us eat cockroaches because there's already these food shortages right now. We've seen libs selling cockroaches on a stick because that's the new future of protein. <laughs> I do like crickets, actually. Crickets, that's what it was. I eat crickets. Yeah, it was crickets. Uh, yeah, yeah. They're not bad. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> and, and of course, she started with the uh, white replacement theory. They're bringing in 100 million immigrants to replace and infiltrate our pool of patriots. She means our genetic pool. Mm -hmm. Because pool is a very interesting word to use there. Pool of patriots. We know what patriots are. Yeah, where do they have like those, tub, you know, those floaties on or whatever? <laughs> no, she means the gene pool. No, this is full blown fascism. And if these people ever get the right to vote, we'll never get a conservative in office. It means if these non-white people get a chance to vote, you'll never get white people in office again. It's exactly what it means.